Hello and welcome back to the We Are City channel for another episode of our Manchester City career mode. You can see here we are in the January transfer window and some big deals have already gone through. Diquet Lara has joined Wolves for 70 million. Robertson has returned to the Premier League from Real Madrid to join Chelsea for around 74 million. And Ruben Neves has joined Atletico Madrid for 66.5 million from Inter Milan. See that Erling Haaland top goal scorer with 19 goals in 16 appearances. Uh, Lataro Martinez got 18 and 21. The lap is up there as well. I think Julian Alvarez might get back up into there as well. Foden's got 13 assists. And Edison's top in clean sheets with eight. Van Sass has seven. I want Van Sass to outdo Edison if I can in clean sheets. And we are top of the table by five points. Chelsea on 49. Manchester United on 47. Five points go to the top. We are sailing at the moment. And we face 16th place Arsenal to kick off today's episode. Which I think will simulate we're going to play the West Ham game. We're going to play both West Ham games. We're going to simulate the Sheffield game play Chelsea and then play Everton, leaving us with Bayern Munich to start the next episode and Liverpool as well. But yeah, we'll simulate this Arsenal game away from home, down in 16th position. They're doing very poorly. And it's a 2-0 win away from home against Arsenal. Goals from Phil Foden and Julian Alvarez on his return and his first start in the Premier League since injury. And a clean sheet and a win. That gets Van Sass up to eight clean sheets. I want as many clean sheets as possible going towards the end of the season. And that's a really good start. Well, look at this for a transfer offer. Tiziano Paris is the man we said who is the new uh, Marco Verratti. He is worth 56 million already at 19 years of age. Villarreal have come in and said 75 million for him. We will reject that. We'll look to loan him out, but he's not going anywhere on permanent. And I think he's got to be a part of the Manchester City first team for definite next season. Maybe we have to decide between him and Gutierrez, Francisco Gutierrez. But I think in the end, Paris is probably the better player. So a double whammy up against West Ham, which is coming up now. They're bottom of the league with 20th in 20th, where I don't know how many points. Have a look how many points West Ham have got. But we face them today in the Premier League and then afterwards in the FA Cup. And uh, I think they'll be fighting hard to stay in the Premier League, only 11 points. And that's why I will play this game. And I also really like to travel to London Stadium. It looked great in the game. So this is how I'm going to go with against West Ham today. Captain, I think, should go to, of course, Phil Foden. So... In goal is Mickey Van Sass. We've got Cancelo, Jimenez, Torres and Esbrand in the back four. Rodri and Bellingham in the midfield two with Gakpo on the left. Captain Fone on the right. And Liam Delap, partner in Erling Haaland up top. And eventually an Alvarez will step out today as he's a little bit tired for Kaiki. We'll have Palmer, McAtee, Grealish, Ahrens, Diaz and Farinjaf on the bench. Strong side going to this game. No Diaz today, the captain. But he will be there for the game against West Ham next up in the FA Cup. Will the bubbles flow around the West Ham Stadium, the London Stadium? West Ham bottom of the Premier League, but last time we played them, we did a little bit struggle against them, didn't we? There was no known, you know, names in this West Ham side, completely unknown, really, the whole side. Lots of new players in there, but Coventry got a goal against us, and Betts, I think it was, on the right-hand side, he had a good game. So they are a side to look out for, and we have to be careful they don't knock us out in the FA Cup as well. So this is the West Ham side. Nathan Trott starts and goal. It's Pedersen, Alves, Cardoso, and Masuaku in the back four. Connor Coventry, the captain. And Elmby in the midfield too. And it's Billy Betts, Ockerfell, Flex and Lindstrom in behind. Decker up top. He had a very good game as well, Lindstrom. And Ronaldo's on the bench today. Lenehan, uh, Adebakio who scored against us last time. Very different West Ham side as we know in Season 6. Manchester City versus West Ham. And he's live from the London Stadium. We're looking to continue our lead at the top of the table. West Ham looking to get out of the relegation zone. And I, I had a very good game against them last time. I enjoyed it. They were a good opponent. So that's why I felt... It was more important to play them than Arsenal. Clean sheet is high on the cards in today's game. Great switch out to Cancelo. On the chest as well, Cancelo. Cancelo. Holland on the volley. What a chance. And Nathan Trott makes a save. What a chance. Holland, if you just caught that a bit better, it was a great ball by Cancelo. When you see the performances he put in with Betts with the ball here. A man at the far post and it bobbles just past the far post for David Moyes' side. How are they bottom of the table, West Ham? Gakpo. First acceleration by Gakpo. Ball into Erling Haaland. Gakpo could get assist for himself, as he know he will do. Because Erling Haaland scores those. Erling Haaland always scores those chances. And we 1-0 with West Ham. We are down. Ball in behind by Gakpo. Touch with the right foot onto that stronger left foot, Haaland. He could go, to be fair to him, I go across the keeper a lot with Haaland, who's got 20 goals now this season. But I could go near post as well. The Norwegian will probably still smash it in the top corner. He is a just an incredible, incredible footballer. And we made the right choice, didn't we? If we want the Champions League, I feel like he could be a big difference to winning the Champions League this season. All in with a foot in. Gakpo with a hit and a good block by Pedersen. Behind for a corner to Manchester City. 21 minutes gone here. 
Lifted into the lap. It's a great cross, actually. Cancelo. Into the lap. Lays it off. Holland on the volley. Oh, it's a goal. They just can't keep it out. He hits it at you and you can't keep it out because of the power. 2-0 Manchester City. Lofted one up to Liam the lap. Who nods it on to Erling Haaland. And first time. On the chest. Volleys it past Nathan Trott. Who's got weak hands there, the goalkeeper. Very weak hands. 2-0. A double for Erling Haaland. And we're going to be coming away with three points here at the London Stadium, I think. Can't see a way back for West Ham United. Foden. Blocked away by Masuaku. Second chance at it. Phil Foden. Foden with a strike. Oh, it's just past the post by Phil. I think the keeper got a touch on it. He did. Corner ball. Foden swings it in. The lap. With the back of him they come there. Bellingham. Pau Torres. Gakpo. The lap. Holland with a chance. Hat-trick Manchester City's Erling Haaland. The number nine has done it again. And there he is celebrating. 3-0. A hat-trick from Erling Haaland. Destroys them. Celebration with Jude Bellingham and co here. Good ball by Pau Torres. Gakpo into the lap. Could shoot, but he lays it off to Haaland. Who does not miss a chance like that. And he gets his hat-trick. 3-0 Manchester City in the 41st minute. Good performance again by us. Really good performance. Phil Foden heavily involved. Jimenez bypass. And here come West Ham. Looking for a goal, and Pau Torres does brilliantly. Mickey Van Sass out to Gakpo. Half time. West Ham nil. Manchester City three. And you can see why they're bottom of the table. Conceding goals like this, they're going to always struggle, aren't they? Cancelo has been instrumental at the right back position. Picks up an injury. Played on Esbram with a good interception. Gakpo into Haaland. Erling. Haaland with a chance, and he makes it 4 0 Manchester City. And West Ham are being torn apart here. This is just a game for Holland to get more goals for himself. Celebrating in fashion as he always does. Giving away to Ez Brand. The defence split. Gakpo plays Holland, And Holland's not missing that one. 4-0 Manchester City. And I think if you get 5 Holland, we will bring him off for Louis Cook. Into the lap. Rodri. Bellingham. Gakpo on the left foot. Oh, the keeper's been beaten again by the power. Cody Gakpo makes it 5 0, who's really taken his goal scoring to another level this season. Grown to 87 rated now, and we lead by 5 goals to nil. Too easy. I mean, the goalkeeper's got very weak hands. Bellingham finds Gakpo. Nathan Trotz would do oh, so much better there. 5 0, Manchester City. Maybe Paris should have been in the, uh, the squad. I mean, I'm worried about the FA Cup game for them. With the side, you know, you don't need goals and assists. It's a shame that you. We just play purely off stats because goals and assists mean nothing really do they when you, you play like this. Foden. Gakpo with a chance and Cody Gakpo in similar fashion to always bottles that. Peaky. Gakpo. Oh, spectacular. Somehow it didn't go in. I thought that was over the line, referee. Gakpo. Gakpo. Good save by Nathan Trott. He stood off him. Let him open his body up there. Got five shots, you see. Pau Torres with a free header. Over the bar by Pau. Sold so many of their players. West Ham, Socek, Dawson. Oh, giving away to Gakpo. Into Holland. Phil Foden. Foden. Foden with a chance. Phil Foden does not miss a chance like that when you give it him. That is six. Goals galore here at the London Stadium. And West Ham are panicking for the cup game that's coming up very soon. We're going to jump to the result. Phil Foden with a wonderful goal. Jump to the result. A 6-0 win. What a win that is. No wonder we're top of the Premier League tail by five points. We've just hit form and at the right time as well. Over January in the winter period, it's the toughest. we really got to keep going, though, in the business end of the season where we tend to drop off, especially when we play Burnley. So off to London Stadium again. So we stayed there and we stayed there. We've just beat them 6-0 in the Premier League. Now they welcome us in the FA Cup. West Ham looking to perform differently. We are looking to uh, do exactly the same, but with a much, much weaker side. This is a side for West Ham today in the FA Cup. Fernandez starts and goes. Aaron's captain Diaz and Bete and Aitnuri in the back four. Paris starts his first game alongside Jack Grealish in the middle. No Gutierrez. Um, he is probably going to be outdone by Paris. Maybe we cash in on Gutierrez. We've got a McAtee on the right, Palmer on the left, although we'll swap those two around. And it's Louis Cook, 
Patton, Julian Alvarez up top on the bench. Dalap, Kaiki Gutierrez, Rodri Stevenson, Cancelo and Igor Cruz. So West Ham versus Manchester City in the FA Cup. We've just beat them before. And we'll beat them again. 6-0 the first time. The same team they put out there. A rotated team we put out there. It's going to be very interesting to see how it goes. Brilliant by him. He's absolutely wonderful. Alone at Celtic. Made the will of difference as Louis Cook plays a ball in behind to Alvarez. What a ball. What a ball, Louis Cook. Alvarez gets another one. We want to start getting him in the Premier League. Now his fitness is building up. Another goal for him in the FA Cup, but... Louis Cook is, I think, the next Raul Felix, that sort of player, that sort of England player. Love to see him in the England squad. Plays the ball in behind. Alvarez into the bottom corner. He will probably get a rest today, Julian Alvarez. After he scored a few goals, we'll take him off maybe at half-time if we're winning by so many. But seven minutes in, we lead against West Ham. Louis Cook. Palmer. Back to Louis Cook. Off to Parisis. Chance for the Italian. Parisis has a shot. Alvarez, oh, good tackle. Good tackle in midfield there. West Ham come again. Diaz slides in. Mbete can't intercept. Mike Nuri dives in. Another ball over top here. Looking Mbete across there, puts a bit of pressure on him. That's time. the first time Vulcan and has even seen the ball here. Palmer. Louis Cook. Alvarez with a strike. Good save by Trot. Louis Cook again. Foot in by McAtee. West Ham looking for the equaliser. And they could get an equaliser here. The chance and a beautiful turn. And West Ham do get an equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Well, that's frustrating, to say the least. West Ham equalise. Kiznevic. Ball into him. And Bete completely sent the wrong way there. Completely sent the wrong way there. No clean sheet for Ferrin. Yes, the bubbles are flying again. West Ham. A bit of hope. And if, if we could finish our chances... We'd have no hope at all, but um, we can't sometimes. Alvarez. Grealish! Oh, over the bar by Jack Grealish, but brilliant play. Parisis looks some player. He looks some player, the holding midfielder. He really does. And that is half time. 1 1, all level. A silly goal to concede when we've been by far the better side. We've missed him in the, the first team, actually. I mean, I know we're winning games. We still miss him in the first team. Parisis through to Louis Cook. What a ball. Parisis, Palmer, goal for Manchester City, 2-1, Cole Palmer with a goal, that is wonderful football again, Louis Cook and Parisis, the, the our youth team has made this side, I mean let's just look at the first team by the way, Louis Cook from the youth team, Cole Palmer from the youth team, Parisis from the youth team, McAtee from the youth team and Bete from the youth team, the core of the squad is a youth team, and Parisis into Cook, back to Parisis, through to Palmer, and that's a great finish across Trot, who I think should do better. It's a goal for Cole Palmer, and it's two on Manchester City here. Palmer into Louis Cook. He's desperate to get that under his spell. But this is. Aitnuri. McAtee. Oh, brilliant. Aitnuri. Cook on the rebound. He still can't score, Louis Cook. Louis still can't score, but what a ball by McAtee. What a ball. Champagne football. Over top here. Ronaldo. Chance of West Ham. And Ferinias has to get a strong two hands on it to stop David Moyes' side from equalising. Good save in the end by Ferinias. To Louis Cook. Oh, Louis Cook is brilliant. Let's it run. Louis Cook, beautiful. Kaiki straight at Trot. What a bit of play from Cook and Kaiki. And then he's finishing. Crushes his side. Glides across the ground as Cole Palmer. Right, Nuri. McAtee with a volley. 3-1 Manchester City. Beautiful goal. Parisis at the heart of it again. He's got to be a first team of Parisis. Tintiano Parisis has got to be a starter. At least in the squad anyway. Gutierrez, I think Francisco Gutierrez will leave the club. Because we've just found someone who is at just another level. That's a deflection. But McAtee will take it. It goes down as a McAtee goal. 3-1 Manchester City. Tintiano Parisis right at the heart of that as well. Aaron's Oh, into the lap. Too heavy. Down to Louis Cook. Louis Cook with a hit. Oh, <laughs> what a 
What's it from Louis Cook? 4-1. Well, he might not be able to score tappings. He might not have that striker's instinct in the box. But I tell you what, he can score goals like that. What a hit from Louis Cook here. Ball drops to him from McAtee's header. Top corner. What a hit. What a hit from Louis Cook. He's incredible. Wow. This young man has come through our youth team. And he's incredible. Last substitution will be Stevenson for Cook. And we're going to put Keiki there. Stevenson's going to play right. No, we'll put him at right back because I think that's probably what he needs to learn. We'll put Aaron's at right mid. But what a finish. What a finish from Louis Cook. And off he comes now to a stand innovation for Stevenson. And two right, he deserves that. What a finish. I've had that a few times with Cook where I thought, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll give it a crack or whatever. Give it a crack with Louis Cook. And he puts in the top corner. Keiki. Aaron's and the referee blows the full-time whistle. A four in for uh, Manchester City against West Ham. We're through in the FA Cup. But yes, yeah, Stevenson, there. Acceleration and pace, perhaps. A new Josh Wilson's brand. Full-time for Manchester City through Parisis was incredible. And I think, to me, that makes my decision. Francisco Gutierrez will have to leave the Spaniard because Parisis is just another level. Well, Sheffield United have come in for Tommy Doyle here. They're interested in taking him for around 40 million. Let's negotiate this. Um, he's been at the club a long while. He's not made hardly any appearances for us. Um, we've, we brought, we sold him, brought him back and so on. First thing is, do they have any young players that we might be interested in? In fact, I mean, look at this. Louis Barry, 82 rated at 23, but we've got Louis Cook. At, I'm not interested in any of those players, but I just thought maybe Sheffield United might have a, a youngster lying around in their team. But I don't think they do, in fact. I will have a look, though. Well, there's definitely no young players at Sheffield United, so we're just going to go back in and say, what about 16 million? With Tommy Doyle. They want him for 14. I want to make a bit of money from our youth team as always. 14.5. 14 million. You know what? You can have him for that. Sheffield. 25 years of age now. Tommy Doyle is never going to make it at the Manchester City Club. It's about time we do sell him on. No next to the side that Tommy Doyle has just joined. It's Sheffield United. 15th place in the Premier League at home. Again, which we will simulate. And a 3-0 win against Sheffield United. Goals from Cody Gakpo, Rodri and Grealish give us the win. And also a clean sheet again. Building up uh, Van Sassi's clean sheets. I'd have, to, I'd have to have a look at how many clean sheets he's got now. Because he might be up there with Edison or ahead of Edison of Chelsea. Well, Tommy Doyle has been sold to Sheffield United. And FC Bayern Munich are interested in taking Parisis on a two-year loan. Well, you know what? I was willing to loan Parisis. But after that performance, I think he's got to be a first-team player. We're going to block all moves for Parisis. He will be staying at Manchester City and he will be a first team player at this club. And it's now time for transfer deadline. They say the top deals there. Valverde has gone from Spurs to Real Sociedad for 88 million. Jimenez has left Burnley to go in to Valencia. He was the bane of all our problems when we played Burnley. He has finally left them 83 million. And Itarian has gone from Atalanta to RB Leipzig. We have sold a Kanji recently. Uh, Itarian's a deal that's gone through. And also Gay from Lille to Monaco for 27.7 million. The sides around us, we'll have a look at uh, when there's one hour left to see what they've brought in. You know, Chelsea bringing in Robertson, that's a big one that will affect us because they're a side that are looking to, to compete with us to win the league. Well, Real Sociedad have come in for Francisco Gutierrez. Now, a player we said we would be willing to sell. I think the Spaniard is just, he's 84 8 at 22, yes, but he's not Manchester City level. And I think Paris is, is just another level of player. Now, we're going to ask for 55 million for him. We asked for a ridiculous amount of PSG, but I didn't want to sell him to PSG. They've had a deal. Real Sociedad look to sign Francisco Gutierrez. We wouldn't let him move to PSG, but we could let him move to Real Sociedad, a non-direct rival, even in the Champions League. Well, side that Gutierrez spent on loan was Spurs. They want to sign him, but we won't be letting him go to Spurs. We want him to go to Spain and play for a team not competing with us at all. Well, Francisco Gutierrez has rejected a move to Real Sociedad. They could not agree a move. He'll stay at Manchester City and not play football. That's a shame. I thought that would be a perfect move for him. We one hour left on deadline day. Let's have a look at the teams around the league and what they've done. So let's start with Arsenal. They have bought in Via, Carrera and Cantwell, sold Bernat. West Ham have brought in Bernat, Socek and Abrao. They've bought in Taron and Holding and sold in Bermo of Brentford. Brighton have sold a lot of players there. Rudiger and Zakaria have come into Brighton. Wow. Um, Burnley are doing a bit of business there. Robertson and Leon Bailey in at Chelsea. Curtis has left Everton. Thank you. Let's hope he's not going to the Premier League side. Milan Chuk, Palinio and Politano in at Leeds. Uh, Montes and Davies in at Leicester City. Gonzalez and Tommy Asu in at Liverpool. Williams out on a free. Doyle has left us, of course, for 40 million. Diop and Lissandro Martinez 
in at Manchester United. Asio, Socek and Varane leave. Borja and Bellerin in at Newcastle. Hayden and Turnbull out. Turnbull has joined AC Milan, as you can see there, for 32 million. Richards to West, uh, for Wolfsburg. Pop up to Barcelona. Valverde, still the biggest deal. Jimenez and Berea as General Atletico Madrid. Southampton have made some moves as well. Cannon to Spurs. Valverde and Rudiger out. Corne to them. West Brom have brought in Elvedi, Adrissi and Xhaka. So some big moves. De Ketlara came in, of course. And Matthias Cunha left Wolves. But lots of big moves. And look at that. 1.3 million spent just on deadline day. Incredible. So up next, the big game in the Premier League. We face Chelsea. You can see there we are running away with the Premier League title at the moment. We are far and ahead away of Chelsea. And Chelsea don't look like they're going to catch us. They might have a bit of hope if they do win here today. We're not a side that likes to bottle the Premier League title. Yes, we've had chances too, but we've always battled. And today we're going to battle again. And winning against Chelsea here will put us in a fantastic position for the rest of the Premier League season. I mean, season six might be quite plain sailing towards the end of it. So this is side for Chelsea today. Van Sass starts in goal. It's Cancelo, Captain Diaz, Torres and Ike Nuri starts in the back four. Rodri and Grealish in the midfield too with Gakpo on the left, Foden on the right and Erling Haaland partnering Julian Alvarez up top on the bench. It's Liam Delap, Cole Palmer, McAtee, Bellingham, Esbrand, Jimenez and Farinha. So away in the Premier League to Stamford Bridge to face our title rivals from last season and our title rivals once again this season, Chelsea. However, this is a big one for Chelsea. They know if they don't win this game, and it looks like Manchester City will be Premier League champions. No questions asked in the end. Chelsea have fallen away from us. And uh, nowhere near us in the league table. Nowhere near us. A win here today will give them that hope. And perhaps dent our confidence. However, a win for us pretty much means Chelsea are going out. So this is the Chelsea side at Stamford Bridge. Edison starts in goal. A back five of Meccano, Zagadou, James and Bember and Ben Chilwell. A midfield two of Kai Havertz and Ryan Gravenberg. And a front three of Aralana, Werner and Bakayo Saka, the captain, ex-Arsenal, Mangalini, Andrew Robertson, Kante, Darwin Nunez, Leon Bailey, Malang Sarr on the bench there for Chelsea. Manchester City versus Chelsea. Title decider, possibly, and I think probably, quite probably, it is live from Stamford Bridge. It's Timo Werner clips one in here. Kai Havertz in there, Pau Torres. Immediately away and Grealish down to Cody Gakpo. And Gakpo, what a ball by Gakpo. Julian Alvarez up against an Axel Zagadou. Alvarez, oh, just got no left foot, Julian Alvarez. Alvarez, giving us options. Grealish, Haaland, Gakpo, swings onto the far post to Alvarez arriving. Blocked behind by Chelsea for a corner. We'll swing this one in, it was meant for Diaz. Edison missed it, Haaland back out to Fone, who's kept it. Haaland with a strike, Phil Fone on the right foot and a save by Edison. An easy save by our ex-goalkeeper. And here's the full back. Right, Nuri, Alvarez. Gakpo, I think he's on. Gakpo to the far post to Phil Foden. Chelsea, lump it away. Back to Phil Foden. Brilliant counter attacking from Manchester City. Alvarez. Holland's in there with a the volley. Good save by Edison. Good save by Edison. Prefer him not to make saves. Right, Nuri with him still. He's past Right, Nuri. Swing to the far post. Raul Cancelo is up. Timo Werner on the volley. And Chelsea get take the lead. And Chelsea score. Massive goal that is in the title race. Timo Werner with a goal. Poor header by Cancelo at the far post. And then Rodri. Nowhere near tight up to Werner. Maybe Van Sass could do a little bit better as well. Werner gets his 10th of the season. The win game is brilliant in real life. He's poor. Haaland. They've got the goal, haven't they? Havertz with a swing in. Diaz, that's shocking defending. What a save by Van Sass. Wide to Haaland. Belted by Saka. Rodri dives in. Cancelo into Haaland. Manchester City counter. Foden. Over to Gakpo. It's dealt with by Chelsea, which I thought was a foul. And Timo Werner looks to test Mickey Van Sass. And Chelsea will go in 1 0 up at the bridge here. They will go 1 0 up here at the bridge. At half time. And um, a goal against the run of play, really. But Chelsea since then. I've had lots of confidence and been all over us. Not really the, the wing back you expect. Orellana beats Pau Torres, who makes a tackle in the box here. And it's a penalty. Yellow car for Torres as we capitulate. And a penalty to Chelsea. And we need Van Sass to step up here against Kai Havertz. Van Sass is sent the wrong way. He wouldn't have saved that anyway. And Kai Havertz gives Chelsea a 2 0 lead. And the title race is very much on to them. 
Well, that is an absolutely embarrassing celebration from the German. Steps up, bottom left hand corner. Chelsea are 2 0 up here in a crucial title race game. Chelsea, the better side. We've been. Two mistakes, really, isn't it? Chelsea are full of confidence now. Saka. On to Werner again. And Van Sass just parries it. Can't even catch it. Frustration with his defence. Whose game isn't that. Holding well played. Cancelo. Holland with a strike and a good save by Edison. Well, in the box, Holland's lethal. And he's driving outside the box there. Nearly got it got it right, but not enough. Crossing again. He's gone towards Julian Alvarez and Edison. He's out to catch it. Haaland. I mean, we're still a mile ahead. Haaland. Alvarez takes it down. Tess Edison. Who saves it again. Suggesting Liam Delap comes on. Not sure who fought. Cross in. This time it goes towards Diaz. Diaz with a free header. Chelsea get it away. Cancelo's been poor, I think, at fullback today. Forward and what a ball to Joao Cancelo. Cancelo! Good save by Edison again. We've been brilliant for Chelsea. Absolutely brilliant for Chelsea today, Edison. Cross comes in. Holland's on it. Edison saves it onto the post but can't keep it out. 2-1. Come on, City. Good goal by Haaland. In the air. Free header, really. Three of them round him. Can't stop him. Edison can only save it onto the post. And that gets us back in this game. In the 71st minute, 2-1. A draw here is much better for us. Chelsea it will be crushed if we get a draw here, I think. Get off him, Kai Havertz. Phil Foden. Here's Joao Cancelo. Beats Chilwell to it. Brilliant. Cancelo. Holland with a header. Good save by Edison. Yellow card for Diaz for that foul, which felt like ages ago. Well, we scored from our previous corner. Second chance at it. Edison's been very commanding of his box. Been very strong. Into Holland. Let's it run early in Holland. Chilwell gets a foot in on Haaland, which will go behind for a corner. Another chance to swing one in. Grealish. Diaz. What? Edison, brilliant again. Every cross you put in there. He flies out to it. Haaland. Gakpo. A diet of Meccano. He's an absolute machine. Edison. Oh, Chelsea. Confidently play out from the back. And Chelsea pick up a 2-1 win. Which puts them right back in the title race, I believe, anyway. And a massive load of confidence for the side from Stamford Bridge. And you can see what it means to City players. Phil Fone so disappointed. But we've seen nothing of him today. Absolutely missing. Chelsea 2, Manchester City 1. Well, I did intend to play the Everton game. We're in 13th place. I mean, there's only one point in it in the, the title race now. However, th that isn't the case. Of course, if we were to win against Everton today at home, that would be three points. I do believe we'll stroll past Everton. And I want to end the episode, actually. I've changed my mind on an away game. Let's end on a positive. A positive big game win. And that will be against Bayern Munich. Then we've got Liverpool, then Manchester United, then Newcastle and Bayern Munich. So the next episode will be uh, Liverpool, United, Newcastle, Bayern Munich. I mean... They are massive, massive games, aren't they? And um, this one against Everton, I feel we can sacrifice to go into that Bayern Munich game to end today's episode. We scraped past Everton, but that's what matters. A 3-2 win. Anti Martial with a double for Everton, but it's Liam Delap in the 11th, Kaiki in the 50th, and Foden in the near 70th minute to give us a 3-2 win and three points. That means we still top the table by only four points. So final game of the episode time, and we go away to Bayern Munich where I think we will set up rather defensively. The Champions League is our main aim this season, really. I want to win the Champions League. We've only won one in, well, five seasons. I do want to win the Champions League this year. I want to put everything into that. That's why we signed Erling Haaland for the Champions League. I'm going to go defensive here today, I think, and uh, work hard to get a clean sheet and take them to the Etihad where I think we can beat them. So this aside for Bayern today, a complete change of formation. It's a 5-4-1. Uh, very defensive, but it's not. I don't think it will be. We'll have a lot of possession, I hope, anyway. So Van Sass starts and goes. It's Cancelo, Jimenez, Captain Diaz and Pau Torres. And Esbrand in that back five. We've got Rodri and Bellingham. Hard working two in the midfield. Two. And then it's Gakpo on the left. Foden on the right. And Erling Haaland through the middle. And eventually in the lap, Leon Alvarez, Palmer, Grealish, Ahrens and Bete and Ferdinia. So Champions League Knights return for Manchester City. And we've drawn Bayern Munich uh, in the round of 16, which is a real, real tough draw. And we're here at the Allianz Arena to face the German champions. A side that are brilliant, but a side that are going to be so, so tough to beat. 
Well, someone came to my door, so I missed the actual Bayern Munich lineup. So instead, I'll have to show you through here. So they are playing a 4-2-3-1. It is Thiago Thomas, the striker, the ex-sporting man. They've got Lorenzo Pellegrini in the attacking midfield role with ex-City player Sane on the left wing and Kingsley Coleman on the right wing. Leon Goretzka and Joshua Kimmich in the midfield too. And it's Bishagli at left back. Matt Rocker, the centre midfielder really, playing at right back. And a good defensive partnership of Jules Kunde and Sven Botman. And they've replaced Manuel Neuer with Jordan Pickford, England goal keeper on the bench they've got Moreno um, Gregor Garcia Gas Sanchez they've got um, Dumfries Marquez Tolisso Jeremy Frimpong and Alexander Nubel as well so Manchester City versus Bayern Munich and it is live from the Allianz Arena from Germany the Bavarian side will look to knock out Manchester City He's playing three at the back because Rodri can hit them from that sort of range Sané Cancelo snaps Sané Three plays on Kingsley Coleman. Pass there's Brand. Pass Pau Torres as well. Sansas gets down and blocks it. And a yellow card for Leroy Sané for a foul on his former teammate, Leroy Sané. Did he even play with, play with Sané? Cancelo? I'm not sure them two ever actually managed to play together. Diaz. That's poor from him. That's really poor from him. There's a chance to buy Munich. Can they score? Diaz brings the ball out from the back stupidly. And Thiago Thomas scores to the side. And we're 1-0 down here. Well, we wanted a clean sheet here in Germany. Pau Torres goes one way. Tomas goes the other. Only 82 rated. Let's give the Bayern Munich side a lead here. And, and, and Bayern must have finished second in their Champions League group, by the way, which makes me think, who finished top of theirs? Burst of acceleration from Phil. Look at Haaland's run. Oh, good link-up play. Foden. Foden. Into Gakpo's arriving and Cody Gakpo gets there. Well played Gakpo on one and Gakpo scoring in important games as well now isn't it? Not just scoring goals in general but scoring important games as well. Good play by Foden and Gakpo and Phil Foden with another assist for the season by the way. Cross to him and uh, he shouldn't beat Rocker or Botman to that. He should not beat Rocker or Botman to that. Bayern Munich fan you watch that or a manager. Very frustrated you've just scored and City go up the other end not too long after that and score. In here now. To attack. Coleman try and press him. Al Torres a good challenge. Back to Van Sass. Van Sass! Oh, he nearly puts it in his own net. Bellingham. What a ball. Cancelo. What a terrible pass by Cancelo to Haaland. What a terrible pass by him. He's had a poor last two games, really. Jimenez dives in. Well played, Jimenez. Yellow card coming his way. Oh, no yellow card coming to Murphy's way. That is very, very lucky. It does give Leroy Sané a chance to score against his former side. 28 minutes in. We've had a very exciting Champions League tie here. Sané! Fires it over the bar. Over to Cancelo. Head on it. Into Phil Foden. Good play. Foden. Bellingham. Oh, catches it. Gakpo there for the rebound. And a good save by Pickford. Maybe didn't need to shoot there, Gakpo. Could have cut back onto his stronger right foot. Crossing to Erling Hall and it's off the line by Kimmich. Off the line by Kimmich. And a free kick to Manchester City in a great position here. I'm actually thinking Cody Gakpo, the form he's been in, just might. Oh, it was actually going to go in. If he was on target, the dip, the, the power, I think everything was right. Foden. Cancelo into Holland, who puts it in the back of the net for 2 1. And I think he will be offside. Look at the lines when he is offside, Ealing Holland. He still managed to get a foot on that ahead of the goalkeeper, Jordan Pickford. Oh, what a tackle by Esbrand in the end. Gak put to Holland, half time. It's all level here at the Allianz Arena. Manchester City won, Bayern Munich won. Two big sides here, and one of the Giants will be going out in the Champions League. Not tonight, in the return fixture. But can one side get an advantage over the other? Shagley. Two very defensive fullbacks here. Sane. Chance here. And a good block by Diaz. Two very defensive fullbacks. For Sally and Rocker. Rocker's a midfielder. And uh, Bushagli's a centre back. Sane looks short for Coleman. There's Brand. Sane against Desbrand. Who's quicker? I'd say Leroy Sane, although Esbrand has done brilliantly in Goretzka across here. That should be a yellow card for Leroy Sane. Holland. There's Brand. Gakpo at the near post. Good save by Jordan Pickford. Good play again by us, though. Impressive. 
Foden with a swing in. Paul Torres, who always wins his headers, really. He hasn't even been able to do the simple passes today. Phil Foden. Over top here. Oh, Holland's onto it. An Erling Haaland. Well, he rarely misses chances like that, but he has missed one here today. First time on the right foot. We signed him to score chances like that. What a ball by Phil Foden. And he hasn't. Pellegrini's off. Haaland. Gakpo's gone here. Botman tried to help out Rocker. Gakpo. Inside Kunde taken down. He's taken the back by Bayern there as well. But how is that not a foul? Well done, Bellingham. What a pass. Esbrand. Rodri. Gakpo. Gakpo! Off over the bar by Cody Gakpo. Will come for possibly for Bayern Munich. Thomas. Got it. Chance for Leroy Sané. An ex-Manchester City player, Leroy Sané, ends our episode in heartache. He scores the winner for Bayern Munich in the 91st minute. And boy, am I disappointed with that. That's crushing. An absolute crushing blow. An absolute crushing blow. Bayern Munich 2, Manchester City 1. Celebration, Sané is in so much space. So much space. I don't know why Diaz has not come across to him. And that will be full time. City 1, Bayern Munich 2. All to do in the second leg of the Champions League. Where we could be knocked out again. Once again at an early stage. Not been to that final in so, so long now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And also you can watch all these episodes early. With our We Are City membership club. We'll see you guys next time. That man Leroy Sané. Comes back to haunt us with a sale to Bayern Munich.